There are many different versions of the xenomorph creature seen throughout the films, each sporting a unique design and characteristic from the filmmakers. The two most accepted versions of the character are Geiger's drone and Cameron's warrior. It is commonly believed that the two aliens are part of the same species, being as they both emerged from the derelict of LB-426. However, upon careful inspection of how the creatures are introduced, it could be theorized that the ship's cargo hold could have been holding more than one type of animal, let alone more than one type of xenomorph. To answer this, I am only going to look at accounts in which the derelict was directly involved. Only Alien, Aliens, and the video game Alien Isolation will be used in this analysis. I thought about using Alien 3, but I am among the fans that believes that 3 and 4 were only nightmares Ripley had in cryosleep. Ah, uh, I suppose Aliens Colonial Marines also featured the derelict, but... Uh... Let's just not. Anyway, so first we must look at how each alien got to the humans. All accounts had the facehuggers leave the ships as opposed to the adult forms being present. With the drones from Alien and Alien Isolation, we clearly see where the eggs are positioned in the cargo hold. Captain Dallas and Captain Marlowe's expedition teams entered through the ship's main entry and hatched an egg from a dispensary that was directly under the engineer cockpit. However, in a deleted scene from Aliens that was also featured in the film's official novelization, we see the expedition team responsible for the warrior alien outbreak enter through a damaged side of the ship. It's safe to assume that out of the many egg dispensaries seen in the cargo hold, the facehugger that attacked Newt's father came from a separate containment field from where the two drones came from. Very little is known about the nutritional requirements of the eggs and the true purpose of the layer of mist. But one thing that we do know is that each dispensary has a clear dividing line. It is quite possible that each section of the cargo hold contains a separate xenomorph species, making the possibilities of different aliens endless. Here's where it gets tricky. The only alien outbreak that we see from start to finish among these accounts is the Nostromo drone. The Sevastopol drone hatched off screen, and we have almost no clues about how the warrior infestation started. There are also no warriors or queens ever seen on Sevastopol Station, just as we never see a single drone in Hadley's Hope Colony. I know that James Cameron intended to have drones helping the alien queen lay her eggs, but they never made it into the movie. Also, Cameron has gone on record saying that his creatures were supposed to be the same thing as a drone, but he had to change his head for production reasons. Some fans have speculated that at the end of Alien, the Nostromo drone was preparing to molt into a new form while it was stored away on the shuttle with Ripley. Supporting evidence for this theory is that the warriors and aliens were weeks, if not months, older than the Nostromo drone. Therefore, they would have had plenty of time to change into their final forms. However, this interesting theory is cut down by the fact that the chestburster born from the last colonists looks strikingly different from the drone born from Kame. Also, the Sevastopol drone was running around the station for two months before the Torrens arrived, and neither it nor its offspring domed the armored head of the alien warrior. In the director's cut and official novelization of Alien, we know that the drone is capable of reproducing itself by converting living and dead biomatter into a new egg. We never see the drones aboard Sevastopol Station do this, but since there's no queen present, it can't be ruled out. Also, we don't know for sure if the warriors were also capable of this ability, but we do know that they used the queen for laying eggs. It is unknown how the queen came about, or whether or not the queen was the first alien to be born in Hadley's Hope. It is possible that warriors used the egg morphing technique to produce an egg with the queen in it, or if instead of creating new eggs, they molt biomatter into royal jelly that a warrior would use to transform into a queen. What I love the most about all this is that since none of it's confirmed by canon, we alien fans can speculate these things endlessly. That's the best part about not offering fans an explanation. I know that Ridley Scott is trying to change that with his prequel movies, but you have to remember, the engineer's bones found in the derelict were fossilized, and that means they were sitting there for millions of years. So the ship in Alien and Aliens could not be related to David. This could be changed with lazy stupid writing that's bound to happen in the upcoming Alien Awakening, but hopefully that will never see the light of day. But regardless, us Alien fans will always have our fun speculations. 
That's enough for today. I'll leave you with this greatness. Alright. Rip me when I give an order, I expect to be obeyed. Even if it's against the law? You're goddamn right! Call how it is.